this reading we have to only when the load applied at the two ends is the dead load is 50 gram. 50 gram is equal to 50 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram. For that mass only this position of the traveling microscope we are missing. Now what we have to do means we have to increase the load. 50, 100, both sides, uh, 100, 150, 200, 50, 50, you have to raise and each time the microscope pin tip will, uh, uh, sorry, the beam, the pin tip at the, bob pin tip at the beam will elevate to each load added. Now, uh, the, the uh, position of the elevation of the pin tip, each time you have to adjust the uh, tangential screw, radial screw and each time you have to make the uh, pin tip to go inside to this position. See, for example, when you apply a load, another 50 gram, the pin tip will raise, mm, the beam will elevate. Now, because it is an inverted image, what happens means the pin tip will come downward each time. Now, you have to adjust the tangential screw uh, on the, uh, for the vertical scale and each time you have to bring the pin tip to this position. So, see, from 50 gram, after taking the reading, when you add 50 50 gram on both sides, so the load applied is the mass of uh, at two uh, ends of the beam is now 100 gram. Once it uh, reaches 100 gram, the beam will elevate because uh, it is an inverted image. The pin tip, when you view through the microscope, it will come downward. Now, each time with the help of the tangential screw, you got to adjust and make the pin tip to come to this position and take this readings. Like this. 50 gram you have to increase till 250 gram and you have to uh, add and each time the pin tip will because you are adding the beam is elevating uh, because it is an inverted image through the microscope you can see that the pin tip will come downward the cross wire and each time with the help of a tangent shell screw you have to adjust and make the pin tip to go to this position and you have to note this reading this is what loading like this you have to unload also this is one trial one means same uh, another set of tablet column will be there in your observation note. There you will do unloading. What for 250 gram whatever the position of the microscope you have to write. Then after that 50 50 gram at the two ends of the beam you have to remove. Once you remove what happens because you are removing the load the pin tip will get depressed. When it, uh, it will the elevation means when you add load it will elevate like this. When you remove that load, it will get, the beam will get elevated. It will get, any, uh, sorry, depressed. This is elevation. When you apply a load like this, increasing the load, the pin tip will elevate like this. But when you remove the load, the pin tip will start depressed like this. So, when that unloading, for 250 gram, whatever reading, while you are loading, you can put in the other set of the tablet. For unloading 50 50 gram you have to remove and when you remove 50 50 gram each time the pin tip will start depressing then when you view through the microscope because it is an inverted image you will see like this when you take because it is depressing in inverted uh, image because of which when you view through the microscope the pin tip will raise in the upward direction now each time you have to adjust the tangential screw then make the pin tip to go to this position and you have to take it. So, the second tab, the second set of uh, unloading mode, you have to uh, note the reading from 250, 50, 50 in the upward direction. There is another set of tablet column in your uh, observation. observation mode. Okay, then you have to also. Then, more or less, the, both the readings for loading mode and unloading mode will more or less be same if you take accurately. Then we have to do that connection. Start. Mm. Now, what I am telling is, see, now we have applied 50, 50 gram on both sides. The mass is 50 gram, 50 into 10 power minus 3. Now, through the, by adjusting these screws, I have make the pin tip coincide with the horizontal line of the cross wire. And this is the what? Uh, uh, what vertical main scale? And this is the vertical vernier scale. With the help of a lens, I will focus and note the main scale reading and vernier scale reading. After that, I have to add another 50 50 gram.
went 50-50. Now the load applied at the two end is 100 gram. Now pin tip gets C. Once you apply a load, the pin tip will start increasing load, pin tip will elevate. So now the position of the pin tip is slightly elevated. But when you view through the microscope, pin tip have come downward. So I am adjusting this tangential screw of the uh, vertical screw and make the pin tip coincide with the horizontal line of the cross wire again to that position. Now, now again I have to note the readings here. Like this 50-50 gram, I have to load like this. 150. Now again pin tip elevate. But when you view through the microscope, it will come downward. Now I have to adjust this radius screw and make the pin tip coincide with the horizontal line of the cross wire. Take the reading and next another 50 gram. Now 200, 200. Again pin tip elevate. Now I have to adjust the screw and make the pin tip coincide with the horizontal line of the curve square and note the reading. Then 250, 250. Now pin tip depress but through the microscope it is elevated. It is depressed. Through the microscope it is depressed. The pin tip is elevated. Now through the microscope the pin tip is come downward. I have adjust the transition screw. Now again I am noting the reading. So 50-50 gram I am adding and each time the pin tip will elevate due to the increase in load and through the microscope you will see in a depressed position because it is an inver inverted image. Then each time you adjust the screw and make the pin tip coincide with the horizontal line of the cross wire and note the reading. This is loading. And now in the second set of the tablet collar in the un unloading mode for 250 gram same reading you write. Then for 200 gram you remove 50, 50. Like this 50 50 gram you remove till it reaches 50 gram and take the reading in the unloading mode, mode also. Then after that you have to calculate with the tablet column you have to calculate the depression produced for a each 50 gram and you uh, in the formula for Young's modulus you uh, we have calculated the depression for each 50 50 gram. So uh, small y for each 50 gram you have calculated so in mass in the tablet the formula is 50 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram the depression is the um, um, mean you have calculated then y may be depression or elevation now while loading it is y is what um, elevation while unloading it is depression so y you can generalize we can say depression or elevation. So small y we are calculating for each 50 50 gram and length of the beam you know which is the distance between the two knife edges 60 centimeter and the distance between the weight handler and the point at which the load is applied at equal distance on both sides is 10 centimeter x small x is equal to 10 centimeter then breadth of the beam and thickness of the beam we have calculated using vernier calipers and um, screw cage. So uh, all these values when you substitute in the formula uh, y is equal to 3 m g. Uh. So uh, we know that the formula for Young's modulus of the material using uh, uniform bending of beam method capital Y is equal to 3 by 2 m g x m square divided by b t q s. So 
uh, substitute take m you know 50 gram 50 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram for each 50 50 gram only you have calculated small y which is in measured in centimeters so that the tablet column uh, which we have done so far that is in the depression will be in or elevation y will be in 10 power minus 2 meter so uh, y you have substituting acceleration of due to gravity 9.8 meter per second square length of the beam is 60 into 10 power minus 2 meter x the distance between the knife edge and the weight hanger is on both sides is 10 centimeter x is equal to 10 into 10 power minus 2 meter then breadth of the beam which is measured in vernier calipers in 10 power minus 2 meter thickness of the beam which is measured in screw gauge is in millimeter so in 10 power minus 2 meter. See in the formula for Young's modulus of the material 3 by 2 mgx L square divided by um, BD cube S. So, breadth of the beam and thickness of the beam even the uh, taking reading in traveling uh, sorry um, in vernier calipers and screw cage is a merely a 5 or 10 minutes work you have to calculate it accurately because it will affect your answer. Thickness of the beam screw cage reading is in T cube in the denominator. So, everything, each and every part of the experiment you have to measure accurately so that only you will get a correct value of the modulus of the material of the beam. Thank you.